Over a quarter of a million people in America have been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. What are the symptoms? Who can help? Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is Candace Hayes. She is the executive director of the Multiple Sclerosis Society of Portland. Thanks so much for Thank being you. with us. This is a disease that usually strikes a little later in life, between 20 years and 40 years of age. Mm -hmm. But you're finding it more and more in children. In children, in teenagers, and sometimes I'll have somebody call me that's 60 years old and say, how can I have had this diagnosis? And because there's different forms of MS. Mm -hmm. And um, what I say to people that are older is, you've probably had MS along the way, but because your symptoms come and go, you didn't notice it. So if you look back a year or two, you go, gosh, I never got past that flu. Boy, I was so tired. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have two people that are diagnosed with MS, adults, the same day, neighbor, background, um, everything looks the same, same racial uh, background. And I like to use the example of standing on Mount Hood. So you get the diagnosis, you're standing on Mount Hood, and then the speed by which you go down the hill mm. is going to be based upon the kind of MS you have. So two people could present in two totally, totally different totally. ways. Totally, totally. In fact, one time I worked at a organization, and uh, in his uh, Mike's office there were pictures all over of him biking and walking, and he had a pair of uh, tennis shoes sitting by his desk. And uh, Mike shared with me one day that he has MS. And he said he spent a year bedbound, And then it stopped. And he says, I walk every day because I don't know if it's the last day I'm going to walk. And it's hard to diagnose because doctors diagnose it after everything else has been ruled out. And that might take a while. It does. It does. Um, usually it's an MRI that finds uh, the lesions in the brain. but. Um, because the symptoms are so different from person to person, they can come and go that uh, uh, the doctors are like, well, could be, maybe yeah. not. And why is it more prevalent in the northern states than it is in the southern states? The theory is it's diet. But they don't know what it is, which they don't, they part don't of the know, diet. They don't know, well, we're supposed to follow Dr. Roy Swank's diet. He was the pioneer in treatment of MS through diet. And so his program is low fat, mm -hmm. um, high vegetables, just a clean diet, no carbohydrates, uh, right. stay away from the processed foods. Now, a lot of patients will develop different issues, depression, mobility issues. How does your chapter help? What we do is we help people deal with the day-to-day -day challenges of living with the disease. So that can be something as simple as a phone call saying, here's information. Um, that you need. Here's somebody for you to talk to. We do social activities, we get medical equipment out to people so that they're not housebound. That's one of the big things is if you don't have a chair and Medicare guidelines are that you only get a new chair once every five years mm -hmm. and so a lot of people come to us to um, get more equipment so that they can stay out. About a month ago we were able to give a van to a gentleman up in um, Damascus. Mm -hmm. And he had been a prisoner in his bedroom. And Damascus doesn't have uh, public transportation. Yeah, right, right. And the only uh, option to him was a private service, service that would take him to doctor's appointments only. So there's an, a specific example of right. uh, ways that we help. And they can vary as much as well, the disease You bears. bring it home so well, and we appreciate your time. Thank you, Candace Hayes, for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. We appreciate your time. Thank you for being here as well. For crew here at Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.